The purpose of this video is to introduce you to a new feature in the Gamry Resonator software. With version 6.1 of our software, uh, we've introduced an air mode operation to the Gamry EQCM 10M. And so when you first start Resonator, there's going to be a new, uh, there's two new radio buttons at the top uh, of the QCM panel. And whether you're running in solution or running in air mode, you simply click on the correct radio button. The rest of the setup parameters are uh, the same as they were before. Uh, where you def uh, what I have mounted here is a 10 megahertz gold crystal uh, in air. I have the default center frequency of 10 megahertz. I have a frequency width of 50 kilo 50 kilohertz, and I have a frequency step of 0 0.02 hertz. When running in air, it's important to decrease this frequency step, uh, typically to around 0 0.02. You may be able to run slightly higher, but uh, I would personally recommend 0 0.02. Amplitude, um, you're going to be running probably a lower amplitude than you normally would. And this is because we don't need to put as much energy into the crystal when operating in air mode. If you're curious how the air mode works before we start it, uh, one of the things you could do is click on options and display QCM options panel. That brings it up this panel. <coughs> now what we do in air, in solution mode is we scan through the whole frequency window. What we're going to do in air mode is we actually only scan approximately half the window and then fit the uh, fit our, our data to that window there. So the difference between the, the solution mode and air mode are shown graf is shown graphically here. So now what I'm going to do, just like normal though, I'm going to press single scan. And that's going to show the full scan here. As we can see, we found the resonant frequencies uh, down a little below 10 megahertz. And so that, that looks normal compared to, to our solution mode. Um, I'm going to bring it a little further and hit single scan again, and now we can see, uh, again, it uh, looks pretty normal except for we're maxing out on our uh, voltage here, on, on our magnitude. So in air mode, what you're going to do is you're going to take the right cursor and you're going to come close to the center frequency. So essentially we're defining a window that we only want to scan in as through roughly half the spectrum. So I set that there. Uh, if I want to, I could cut the amplitude a little bit further. You will reach a point, though, if you cut it too far, where you're going to flatline on the bottom here. So increase this a little bit again, and then you can start the uh, continuous acquisition. So I'll press Start, and we can see uh, it has started. I can stop. I can see it's having a little bit of trouble uh, finding and keeping the resonant frequencies. And this is a bit more difficult to find the resonant frequencies than solution mode. Solution mode, as you saw in the other video, is, is quite easy. Okay, so now we can see that uh, with some adjustment, um, we're able to get a uh, good continuous acquisition here. You know, our fit chi-squared has gone green. Uh, we're 2 times 10 to the minus 5. Uh, that can probably be improved a little bit, uh, again, by manipulating the uh, cursors and so forth. But um, in this instance, what we see here is actually uh, we're at plus or minus 0.1 hertz noise levels, um, which is, is quite good. One final note for resonator operating in air mode is that rapid mass changes, uh, very very fast mass changes may cause resonator to lose the uh, resonant frequencies.